can of Copenhagen winter cream there. All right, this is my last can of the last uh, batch that obviously I did. As you can see, there's, there's barely a pinch there. So, cheers Northerner, you couldn't come at a better time to give us this, uh, this parcel. Just open the box and see what we've got. All I've got here, all right, is a bog standard issue class knife. All right, British military, uh, Styling, right? For the uh, maybe want to be adventurers amongst us, right? Pretty crappy knife, but it'll do the job. He says. There we go. All right, let's get this open. Let's see what beautiful gift Northerner have uh, have given to me. So, never mind that. We have absolute Yorkshire dip in paradise here. We've got four cans of the beautiful Copenhagen wintergreen there. Which probably upsets the people at Northern because we actually come in five can rolls. I should probably just buy five, eh? But there we go. Four cans of Copenhagen. I then have the next set of reviews uh, I'll be matching and I'll be doing. All right, and I've bought the uh, Stokers dip there. All right, obviously the tins rather than the uh, buckets, as I call them, the tubs. Should I say? All right, so you can look forward to those Stokers reviews there. Last but not least, I've gone and done it. Okay, obviously nothing left in the box. I've got the last one, all right, that I can get when it comes to the mug jug family of, uh, of spitters there. So before I start briefing this or chatting about this, let's get a nice dip in the Copenhagen winter green there. All right, so I'll shake that can up a little bit. I'm gonna put a bit of old bit of the new crack straight on camera no mess it about all right I'm just gonna get a little bit of a pinch the little one all right stick it in there and then I can get the rest of that one out beautiful fresh Copenhagen wintergreen there that's the one to dip in my opinion but uh, there we go Actually getting a little bit excited for when it comes to the uh, Copenhagen dip reviews to be fair. Alright, skull's not too bad. Oh, I don't mind a pinch of skull from time to time. Alright. Grizzly, in my opinion, is obviously a hell of a lot better than uh, skull. Stoker's next, Stoker's ain't ain't too bad. Alright, I do uh, do enjoy Stoker's from time to time. But then the main one is is Copenhagen brand here. Uh, leave some comments below all the rest of it. All right, I was just gonna do all right the Skull, Grizzly, uh, Stokers, and Copenhagen. They're kind of, in my opinion, the more premium dips. All right, the dips that uh, got some nice history behind Bobby Stoker on the cans and obviously Copenhagen with the Copenhagen stuff. All right, if you want me to do Cope, maybe I might add 
a whiskey blend if I can get one over now. I know we're not selling these on Nova at the minute, but uh, I'll see if I can get my hands on some maybe another way. Uh, I'll probably add the Cope to the Copenhagen reviews. So we'll see where we stand with that. All right, excuse me a minute. I've got to get this dip in. I've been lusting for a dip all day. As always, I'm in my band room. I've just been uh, jamming out a little bit. Guitar set up over there, the drums. And then I thought this parcel came, so I might as well uh, do a quick video to you, to you lot. All right, cheers. Mm. A little filler. There we go with that one. Another can for the dip jar. Get that one in there right next to the Copenhagen snap. Beautiful. So, anyway, relating back to what I was saying. Mm. Anybody else who dips winter green, especially uh, Copenhagen winter green, definitely understand what I'm feeling now. Absolutely amazing stuff. So, the last one off, uh, off Northern uh, that I can actually get. Alright, there's obviously the blue mud jug. Same for the kind of boxes before. Alright, get your publicity there. Publicity upside down. Alright, so mud jug, portable spittoons. Alright, quick brief description on the side what the product's about. So, smokeless tobacco accessory. Spill resistant, conceals odours. Alright, classy alternative to bottles and cups. I definitely agree with. Uh, all those four. Biggest one that I uh, obviously appreciate and I will go into my profession later on uh, when I start getting my subs up and all the rest of it. Alright, respect out to you, alright, the old mug jug company there, they support the troops, which uh, in this DNA, day and age, I say, it's kind of becoming a little bit uh, offensive, can I say that? Mug jug one, if you kind of get what I'm saying, offensive to support the troops. Because obviously if you're a qualified infantry, then all you want to do is uh, is kill Muslims, obviously. Alright, whatever. So yeah, they support the troops and another one which is quite important for this company. Alright, is that one there. Hopefully you can see it on the camera and I'm pointing it the right way. Obviously made in America. It's an American company founded by an American and he employs Americans. So, you know, he's kind of returning uh, his company there to his, uh, his employees as such. All right, keep it all American. And I kind of like that. Uh, on my side of things, my side of the pond. We kind of don't really, the British, should I say the British, we've stopped. We still make stuff, don't get me wrong. But compared to uh, the World War days, we don't really make that much anymore. If you look at your cars that are on the streets this day and age, or your uh, Toyota Priuses and all that kind of stuff, we kind of get most of our stuff imported. Uh, but, but there we go, I'm not saying it's good, I'm not saying it's bad. All right, uh, depends where you stand, and if you've got an open mind to understand both sides of an argument. But anyway, beautiful. As again, got a nice, uh, I think it's OG green. Someone comment below, quote me if I'm wrong. Uh, original there, awesome mug jug. As far as it goes, like I've said, on the dip towel there, you can see I've got the red original, black original, blue original, red roadie, black roadie, which is always what I keep here. I've got another black original at home, and then the last one that I can uh, I can buy without paying something really ridiculous uh, amount in shipping from obviously the states to to here, to where the shipping for me, if I was to do it from obviously the Mojo website, it cost me more to get it shipped over than actually for the price of the Mojo, which is why I probably won't do it that way. I'm hoping, like I said in my last video, all right, Chris Tips One has kind of uh, emailed me back. Cheers again for that, uh, Chris Tips One, and Jesse Ryan USA has also uh, is on the old Facebook having a, having a chat with me and stuff like that. So hopefully. I can get something uh, sorted out with them, send them some moolah, and uh, I can get these exported uh, to me a little bit cheaper, potentially. 
Uh, I'm not asking for free stuff, although it is nice. I like to uh, I like to pay my way. I'm a working man, so so there we go. So nice one, beautiful blue mug jug, and it can uh, complete now the mug jugs that I can get for that. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I was in the band room, got the camera out and things like that. These are mine, by the way. If you're not having them, all right, we're Copenhagen Winter Green. Mm, awesome. But yeah, you can look forward to all right, the next few videos that I'll do. There's only four, uh, I think. There may be more than another website. I may be doing another parcel. All right, and I'll get into, uh, into the stokers there. All right, Stokers, founded as a, a company and obviously signed through all the legal stuff, government, all the rest of it, from 1940. So, uh, awesome. Do like those cans. But we're getting started in, in the reviews. As always, I've got to give a shout out, all right, to obviously Mugtug1, all right, check his channel out. He's got some very informative videos, but then again, uh, he's been doing YouTube videos a hell of a lot longer than me. All right, and I know I may come across a little bit dry. I know that uh, I plan to do some uh, some more exciting stuff after the reviews and all the rest of it. So leave us a comment, see where you, where we go with that. Also, give a shout out to Chris Hicks One as always, and Jesse Ryan USA. Purely, all right, because like I said last video, in a way, I'm a little bit starstruck by it. They'll probably laugh at that, but there you go, CD One and Jesse Ryan. All right, they are like well up there. When it comes to the YouTube videos and the dipping community online and things like that, so for them to reach out to a uh, British bloke, a simple Yorkshireman, all right, I'm pretty chuffed about that. Uh, hopefully, some something hopefully will come of it. Maybe uh, do a bit of FaceTime or something like that, and have a have a chat with the old uh, the old bros from America. Anyway, get a nice buzz off this winter green, it's nice and fresh. All right. I'm the Yorkshire Dipper, please comment below, please subscribe to my channel and uh, give us a like, All right, I would like to get my subscribers up and uh, my videos from a British uh, mind on things when it comes to dip, kind of a little bit more out there. All right, I appreciate for the people that do watch my channel, All right, I know on my one of my videos, the top one I've got at the minute, All right, it's 66 views, for those 66 people that's viewed them, I right, much appreciated that you uh, have actually viewed them. If I could ask you to like, and subscribe as well that'd be good because I've got 66 views on one of my videos all right well then I've only got 22 subscribers so it'd be nice if you were subscribed to my my channel as well so we can get those 22 subscribers uh, up there all right I'll leave it there anyway all right have a good day keep dipping keep using the good old mud jugs support the company all right I'm the Orchard Dipper out